In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best one-play touchdown formulas in Madden 23. It comes to us out of the bunch tight end formation. Now, you will need tight end apprentice, but I will show you kind of an alternate setup if you don't have tight end apprentice as well um, that you can utilize for this. This play will bomb pretty much every zone in the game. It has a chance to bomb man coverage, and it's actually a really simple play as well as a great man beater. Now, if you're watching this and you want to get my full uh, bunch tight end offensive ebook, Make sure you join our Patreon. The link is going to be in the description below. It's only $10 to join the Patreon, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So, again, if you want to join the Patreon, make sure you check the link out in the description. The play we're going to be taking a look at today is PA Boot Over. Um, I'm in the Detroit playbook, but you could find this in Run Heavy, Kansas City. Pretty much every bunch tight end has this. Um, it's also called PA All Cross in some other playbooks. But let's go ahead and get on the field and talk about this incredible passing play. So what we're going to do with this play is we are going to put our tight end on a post route. We're going to put our um, slot receiver on a flat. And then you could also put him on a whip route, um, but put him on a flat. And then we're going to slant circle. So you see this is what it looks like. Um, and then what I like to do is motion this, this player um, to the outside a little bit. Uh, now, if you have time, you're going to be able to hit this post, but you also have a nice little slant post concept over the middle that you can take advantage of. But you'll see once he once he kind of gets even with the safety, and this is cover four. Cover four is not easy to bomb this year, um, especially from like bunch tight end. But what you're going to see here is once he gets even with the safety, you want to throw this with a high point. But you want to basically, man, I'm getting shed like crazy. Go to practice mode. Um, you, you want to throw this with a high point. Uh, but basically what you want to do is you want to free form and high point it to where your player has leverage. That's the basic concept uh, here. So I'll show it to you. This time we're not going to get shedded. Um, but if you want to see how he's even. Now right there, I'm going to high ball and free form it over. And you see that it has a chance to be able to bomb. Now most of the time you're going to be able to hit this. And again... Um, you'll get better with this with time uh, and just reps, but what you'll see here is if you don't, real quick, if you don't, if you don't have anything, throw the slant. The slant's almost always open. Um, if you don't, if you don't feel like you have time to throw the bomb, check it down to the slant or the post route. Like both of those are going to be good options. Generally speaking, the user is going to want to go to the to the post uh, to the tight end. So you know, just keep that in mind. You have other options, but if you have time. And, you know, you have you, this right here. That throw should just destroy the defense over the top. Like, that throw in that little window. Now, um, let me show you the two other coverages. We'll come back to cover four because cover four is kind of being a little stubborn with me. Uh, I'll show you cover three and cover two. The bombs, it bombs every coverage in the game um, from a zone perspective. You saw right there the post coming open. It's crazy how, how, how good the sheds really are in practice mode. Um, it's insane. But anyway, we'll show you cover three. Cover two is going to be fairly easy to bomb. Uh, but cover three, cover four are a little bit more difficult this year. But see, see how that safety goes to the left because of the flat route? And then you can freeform this over the top to the receiver. Now, if you have that much separation, you don't have to you don't have to, to, to freeform it. Um, you don't have to highball it. You can just throw it. Um, you know, but again, I think highballing and freeform it just gives you a layer of protection. This is obviously a shot play. You know, so you don't want to you, you don't want to put yourself in any position to potentially throw an interception. But there you see you see the window is right there for the cover three beater. Now um, I'll show you cover two real quick, and then we'll go back to cover four, and then we'll talk a little bit about man to man as well. Um, so with cover two, you know, pretty straightforward. Oftentimes they're going to be using in the middle of the field out of a cover two, and what you'll see is right there the deep half is not going to play him really at all. So you see there. Really nice post route for cover two. Now, um, if you if you get man, I'll show you man real quick, and then we'll come come back and talk about cover four. So if you get man, you actually have a lot of good options. Um, your your post to your tight end, your slant to circle, those are both natural man beaters this year. So you can throw that there. You can throw that there. Um, if you get a one on one, you know you you can try to throw this up. Um, obviously, you don't want to throw it up if you don't have a step. But the post route is more so, um, it, it, it can beat man, but it doesn't always beat man, if that makes sense. And that's how Madden 23 really is. Like, to be honest, that's, that's literally how Madden 23 is this year. 
some routes just don't always beat man, and they sometimes do beat man. So you'll see here, if I run this you know, five or six times, there you see, now he has separation, so I can throw him to leverage, and I could potentially make a play right there, right? I got to click on him and make a catch. But you see what I'm saying? So, you know, based on, you know, some of these factors, the post route, if you know it's man, smart route the post route. If you know it's man, smart route the post route. Um, if you think it's zone, I wouldn't smart route him. You'll see see how he gets better separation when you smart route him. And then you see right there, you're just going to throw that with a high ball and free form. And you see that it throws him into a position that only your receiver can catch the ball. If your receiver doesn't catch it, you're at least not going to throw an interception. So um, this play is pretty decent against man-to-man. -man. Um, it just depends, again, on... It really just depends on you know how they're going to st structure their man coverage and where they're going to put their zones. But... You know, really, if this guy gets separation against man, he's going to bomb man. Um, but you also have, like, that route against man that is very consistent as well, okay? Now, uh, I want to talk about cover four, and then we'll talk about what to do if you don't have um, if you don't have hot route master, because I want to give you guys some stuff if you don't have that. Um, it's actually a really simple option that you can do. Uh, but anyways, you'll see right here. So here's cover four again. As long as I have time, he's even, he's leaving. I'm going to high ball and free form that over the top. And as you can see, that's the little window that you can throw this in. So against cover four, you know, once he's even with that safety on the left side and he has a, that's where he's got kind of that step uh, to be able to actually make a play. Okay. And if you can hit that consistently, this becomes one of the best bombs against zone because most people aren't going to anticipate that that's going to be where you're going to throw the ball. As you see there again and again, right there. I mean, you know, you'll if you have a bigger receiver, you'll catch more of these. Um, sometimes the freeform stuff can be a little wonky with short guys. Um, you know, so I wouldn't I wouldn't stress out too much about these overthrows. You and again, it, it's a shot play, right? So you're only it's only it's where your receiver can catch the ball, where your receiver can catch the ball. So right there, you see, there it is, boom. Okay. Now I want to spend just a few minutes talking about what to do if you don't have Titan Apprentice. What I recommend is just put the tight end on a smart routed in route. You could also put him on a curl route. Uh, and you'll see that it'll basically like say this slant is really the most important thing. Um, but there you see again, there it is against cover three. And you see he's open. Um, I'm just throwing, I'm just trying to freeform like crazy, but he's wide open. Okay. So if he's wide open, you don't have to, you don't have to high ball and freeform. Just freeform it to the inside a little bit or you know, whatever, just get, get the ball to the receiver. Just get the ball to the receiver and uh, and let him make a play. But bunch tight end allows you a lot of opportunities with this. You're seeing here, like, the in, the, the in route is really what's, you know, the slant route is really the key. The slant, slant route and the flat route, they pull the zones. Um, the flat route, just, it's crazy how flats can pull thirds this year. Um, you know, and then you can throw it in that little window right there. And, again, that looks like it would be picked. But oftentimes that free form is going to get the ball just over the top of the safety, and then uh, we'll show you. It's this um, this second setup is not as great against cover four. I will say the post is really the main thing for cover four, but you can still hit this against cover four. So you'll see here if I wait on it right about there, and we get it. Okay. So as you can see, one of the best bombs in the game for man for zone. Bunch tight end, PA boot over. I think it's one of the best plays this year. Nobody's really talking about how good this play is. Um, if you want to learn my entire bunch tight end offensive ebook, the link's in the description below. So thanks for watching, and make sure to check out the Patreon down in the description below.